Taken from a teen and family sharing deeply personal stories, all in hopes of reaching someone who may find themselves feeling helpless. We begin in Mission, Kansas. The Kansas Department of Health reports in Johnson County there is one suicide every four days, including attempts. In an effort to diminish that statistic, Tyler's House for Teens is expanding its programs to provide a safe and healthy environment for teens. This is where I spend most of my time when I come to Tyler's house. Alistair Reynolds spends hours in the music room. So me and my friends play music together. He's been visiting Tyler's house for teens for two years. I don't think I've ever met someone that's come here that hasn't felt welcomed by the people that are here. It's one of a few safe space facilities promoting emotional well-being for teens. All of us are struggling with something. It's important for us to just remember that we're okay. Corey Hastings is the founder and the program memorializes her family friend, Tyler. Sweeney, who had a passion for recess. Alistair's passion for music developed at Tyler's House for Teens, building a support system following his father's death. Coming here and talking with people that might have similar experiences or that can help me through that, you know, grief is really like comforting. Wednesday night, Alistair cut the ribbon, revealing a 4,000 square foot facility. Yeah. Offering a maker space, a large common area, and sensory room for free. It's an expansion from its former one room location. It's my first time being in here. It's so, this room is so cool. Um, the bubble wall, the amazing. Spot. Tyler's house fosters trusting relationships with the youth served. That's parent approved. That I, I love Tyler's house, and I hope more parents uh, learn about it and send their kids here. Once they, you know, come here for a couple of days, they'll want to come every night. Like Al does. Kind of just what I do. In Mission, Kansas, Ryan Gamboa, KSHB 41 News.